Pets. I'm Mr. Bomb. And I'm Kimothy. And you guys are back for some more Pokemon collection videos. Toby! You say something different every time I do that. Bonanza. Um, show and tell videos is what you wanted to call them. Yeah. But you didn't say that. <laughs> Alright, whatever. This is actually the last one um, the for Kanto right now that we can do that has Kanto Pokemon Tomies in it. Um, if we didn't show them in the last several episodes, we don't have them. Oh, uh, we didn't review last time which ones we were missing out of that. Yeah, we did. There were so many. We, 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 no, we, we mentioned them as we go through, because we're going like in decks order. we were kind of doing a wrap up. Well, there's, there'd be too many. There's so I many know, that we missed. So, many in um, so in this one, we have a lot more, but we're still, of course, missing some. It's not perfect. It never is. And of course, in terms of Kim is missing like the most common ones. Well, for some out of this set, which is super weird. Um, but anyway, the first one we get to look at is one of her favorites, probably your favorite of this set right now, Mr. Mime. Yeah, I love this Mr. Mime. I remember when we found him, I was like, He's really? intact. Like... A Tomy Mr. Mime. And we gotta bend him backwards to look at him, because I think his legs have kind of sagged forward over time, and he... Yeah, he's at a slight angle there. I mean, I think a little heat and bending him backwards would uh, stand him back up again, but... He, still, bit, uh... he stands fine because of that stand they put him on, which right. is good. But he's one of these fragile ones you just wouldn't... And the colors on him, I don't know. I they're just... so muted. Yeah, they're so muted on him. He just looks so cool. I was always scared of breaking him because um, this hand down here is a separate... You mm -hmm. can see the seam on it. It's, it's... a separate I don't know how mold. he's doing that. <laughs> like, it's... Yeah, he's scary. I'm always scared he's just going to, like, break off of his base one day or something. Mm -hmm. And he is... You got his writing? Let's see. He is a Japanese one. I mean, have you seen an English one? Have you seen it? I, I don't I don't know. I've never seen Mr. Mom. <laughs> I don't know where he was sold or how rare he we really is. We found him at the flea market. Do you know how rare Mr. Mime is? I don't know. I feel like now that I'm thinking about it, he's rarer than I thought he was. He probably is. Um, or, yeah. or everyone has one and they're all like, no. Right, everyone's like, I have a Mr. Mime. I don't think, I never saw anybody who had a Mr. Mime. Me neither. That could just be a weird fluke, but uh, yeah, the really rare one. Really cool that we have one of those. He's probably the rarest that we have up here, but I'm not sure. The Jinx might be. <laughs> who knows? The Jinx might be. Um, moving on, we have Scyther next. Now, this was a lot more common, but everybody wanted him. That's right, why. he is pretty he's common. He's so cool. He is. He's a real detailed one. I think one. because of the way he stands, almost everybody's figure got a little bit... Um, well, they could since he's technically standing on four little points, he's kind of hard. I don't to... think he's supposed to be standing on these points. That's the thing. Oh, I, I think, think so. he gets bent out of place. No, I think he's supposed to be standing with those. Anyway, he has so many different um, seams and molds on him that your parts get broken right. off. I think I remember uh, mine, bends. the wing, fell out, and I had to keep kind of pushing it back in again. Oh, so that one's yours. No, 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 no. Mine, I told you what happened to mine. Mine's gone, but this Look is at a the wings second. On that one. That's the second one Kim has, where its wing was glued back in. I never glued mine in. I'm talking my original collection that got taken, got mm -hmm. <laughs> robbed from me. Um, but um, yeah, this one he's got like more blue on the um the wings. Are they identical? Um, yeah, they releases? are the same releases. Yeah. That's weird. Okay, and you I'm saw all the positive. information on the wing. Japanese. Was uh right there. Yep, yep. the Japanese uh. Tomi China. It's written on that <laughs> <His> far wing. <laughs> cool. I don't know how we wound up with two of them because I think for the longest time I didn't have a Scyther. You might have had the one with the bad wing first and you bought a second one. Really? You didn't have a Scyther? Scyther was a pretty I common one. I didn't have a Scyther. But granted, you're missing some super common ones out of here that are just sad that you don't have them still. Um, so moving on from here is the one that we were just talking about. The Jinx Black Jinx. Jinx. The Black Jinx. <laughs> Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, original Jinx was colored like this, and nobody really cared except for a small group of people who said that she's offensive. Even back in the 90s, people were in on this stuff. Not nearly as bad as today. I'm sure they would have been much more conscious of it, but it's the thing is, Jinx looks exactly like the comic drawings of uh, what they call blackface, Cheering. if you look it up. You know, it, it was really big in comics, like the spirit, if you guys know that comic, like it's it's racist right. <laughs> like it's not okay and i mean um, by today's standards know dbz i mean popo oh yeah yeah, yeah. mr went popo from being black to being blue. blue so they did the same thing with jinx so jinx is now purple, purple. and um i think jinx in like is pokemon snap a uh, black jinx I, I don't remember there's what, no jinx oh yeah there, yeah, there is, is. Dancing, dancing around the, the uh yeah the cave um probably it, black the pokemon card 
mostly they're purple. I don't think there's a black one. Is there a black Jinx in the In card? the base set, yes. But in base, I'm pretty sure some of the releases... Maybe it's got to be a Shadowless Jinx. I think you're right. I think it has to be the Shadowless Jinx Cause, to be black. Because I'm pretty sure most of the Jinx I've seen... They're purple. Are purple. They they changed it. They fast. got it on it really. They quick. they yeah, which is good. I mean, and but here, not for the Tommy. Okay, so the Tommy was out there, and <laughs> there's you no fixing it. You know how the now the mold of Jinx, the model of Jinx in 3D, it has these two little things coming off the side of it. Right, it's not on the Tommy. I always interpreted it as that was its dress behind it. Right, not it was as supposed to, separate because it's based on the drawing. In the drawing, um, Ken Sugimori had like these these things kind of coming off on the side of the dress and it it's supposed to look like it's a long dress that keeps going backwards and it's like kind of moving like this and you right. saw the sides of one well the idiots doing the models who made hitmontop do this the idiots <laughs> who did the models in pokemon x and y and brought them up they put like these erections on the yeah, side of jinx's hips like that are just coming out and like that's not, clearly it's that's not what it looks no. like even this tomi here um so this is another original japanese no, no. it's an oddly all d all d you said it so many times the other way that i'm now i'm, I'm struggling so much all all d all d all d yes all d um, all we needed to do was actually just it read actually it. has the most amount of plastic taken look out of it look at the size like, of that that's that yeah it's crazy that pencil top or do you <laughs> no I don't, I don't know what that is but i've never seen any other tomi like that but granted this i've never like the seen only jinx a jinx I found. where did you get that was it just another random flea market find i think we got that in a lot oh yeah we might have because we got it in the lot with I that lapras so weird yeah well actually which is weird we might have like Wait, mainly those after. are both oddlies that makes sense yeah, but um, that's just, I don't know. It's such a rare, I, I think it's got to be a rare one. Have you seen another Jinx? No. I don't I'm know just how much... excited that it's black, so that makes it even Right, because there's a funny story mind. behind it. It's, <laughs> it's you know, that's all there really is to it. Um, the Electabuzz is next. Now, I didn't have an Electabuzz either. Can you tell me which uh, make this one is? If, I, if I'm allowed to look. Um, oh, it's kind of hidden on the back. Uh, ooh. Oh, I see why you're asking me, because you have uh, the Super Grab Ball, because he is a Hasbro, right? Yes, and the material that he is is a Grabber Ball material. Grabber Ball, not Super Ball. Did I say Super Ball you again? You said Super Ball again. Dang it. <laughs> now, with the... It's because the Japanese um, Great Ball is called a Super Ball, and well, th you there can were see some the original difference. ones that they those toys, a lot of them had an S on it, and we didn't know what they meant, but it, it was because in Japan, a Great Ball is a Super Ball. So that's why a lot of the American toys had an S written on the ball, and we were all confused. So I... Well, with the Grabber Ball Tomies, too, and I know I mentioned this before, the plastic's different. We have Hasbro ones, yeah. but the Grabber Ball ones are different than the Hasbro plastics. Mm -hmm. And I did bring up the little Grabber Ball She that... brought us a Grabber Ball this time. Let's go way in the background so okay, we can see yeah, this, because yeah. you got to remember, like, our face cam's in that corner here. Right. Okay, yeah. let's see here. Let's... Oh, please don't. Please don't do it. I hate seeing a Tomy go into a grabber ball. It's, <laughs> it's so forceful. Oh, you're going to do it to that poor guy. I like the butt. <laughs> okay. All right. See, now, now okay. first off, while it's open, you see that line right there? Or that uh, that piece of plastic? That's what's um, basically waiting to see. See, it locks into place there, and you hit that, and it pulls it's, it's, out. It's, it's a glorified mousetrap. That's all it says. Right. And, and you put you put your finger through the hole there. His noose. <laughs> what are you trying to do with the noose? <laughs> <laughs> trying to hang Electabuzz. Um, but basically, the idea was they wanted you to throw the ball at the Pokemon. This just kind of happens every time. That no? <laughs> happens every time. And it's plastic smashing against plastic. But that's why they're made out of different plastic. So hopefully they don't get damaged whenever something like this happens. You know why Tomies are all dinged up and scratched up? Those, because that people aren't using invention. the specific ones that they bought with that. They're going to oh, use it doesn't their matter. other ones. It doesn't matter. It's still... It's, it's, that's still way too forceful. I was, uh, before we started this video, I was design. trying to do it on this Eevee here. Oh, I got around the... Happens every time, doesn't it? It just doesn't work. I don't know what they were thinking. I have so just, many of those grabber get, balls. get rid of this. Does anybody want a box of grabber balls? Get, get rid of this godforsaken thing. I don't know what they were thinking. Like, who, <laughs> who did this? I don't know. The, you could, like, um, you basically load it by pulling it back. You can hear a little click, and then you just throw it at something that's supposed to but fit. But you, you attach it to your finger, so you... Right. Stupid bitch. <laughs> Get rid of it. I hate it. I, hate I it. have so many. I hate it. It's just a box um, of grabber balls. So anything about Electabuzz that you wanted to say? Oh, no. I mean, you hit the He's got the airbrushes on the, on the sides. I 
I look at him, he looks so fake to me. But um, the arms are actually those... not touching the head, if you're curious about that kind of stuff. He's how one the of molds those, work. Uh, grab your ball, Toby's. It's pretty hard to read that on the back, but yeah, you can see because it's embossed. That is uh, what he is. Right. Um, we don't have the next one. Who's Magmar? Unfortunately, you know anything about Magmar? I wonder. That's a rare one. Um, Pincer. You know anything about Pincer? He's mm. missing too. Nope. Nope. I know he's fragile, though, because of his arms, so... Yeah, yeah, I can see that being a problem. Uh, we have the next one. Back right corner, he's been hiding his face. Poor guy, time to shine. I actually just got him, too, not too long ago. I think we got him in a lot. Did we? Tauros. We haven't gotten a lot in a long time, unfortunately. The but... last time we got a lot. <laughs> yeah, whenever that was. Uh, man, it was a cool one, though. I... But anyway... Um, I love that the Taurus figures are always used blue instead of black. That's not attached. <laughs> blue? What do you mean? Look at his hooves. Oh, his hooves. Well, Tauros does have... It's a dark navy. It's not... Oh, okay. Well, to me, I didn't know Pokemon that was, that was black. Pokemon very rarely uses the color black. And it's not just because of Jinx. <laughs> um, <laughs> they very rare... Like, if they can avoid it, they won't use it. Like, think even uh, Shiny Charizard. He's not black. It's a dark gray. Original Shiny Charizard was actually a... A mixture of like a turquoise and. What about Meg? What, what about Rayquaza's? Shiny? That's not black. It's a. It's the same as Charizard. It's like it's, it's a. It's like, more like a fifty percent gray. It's not even that dark. You yeah. know, it's just you think it looks black, when it's next to something else, and they do that so you can preserve shadows. So rarely you'll see black on anything. So Tauros, is that's one of those he's, interesting that's stamps. Um, going across his butt he is a English wow that's Hasbro weird one. it's on all the back of the legs yeah and you see the tommy there on the front one that's a bizarre one yeah the where they print i, I think that can also help you determine a real one from a fake how obscure <laughs> is the stamp on there no. like how weirdly no, just make sure like there? look up other ones online and try and see okay are the writings here you know so because if you have a tauros and his writings are right there that would probably be a fake but granted there's a lot of different versions where course, they made these uh, there are several several lists out there if you um look up pokemon tomi authenticity um i kind of compiled my thinking based on several different places sites that i've read that's good you shouldn't base um, it all off of one picture you saw online one of the number one things you see there is does it look like an actual Pokemon on some of those lists? And some well, of those uh, ones you are... saw our video on fake Pokemon toys. <laughs> That's what they're trying to yeah, and, stop you from buying. Um, a lot of them also say, their second thing is, is the seller from China? Yes. Uh, that is their no, biggest They're not thing being racist when they say that. For some reason... Even though Tomies will say printed on them, made, made in China. In China. They That's are because made they're fact the official factories were there, but there's so many bootleg companies in China. It's insane. There are they are still have their factories. Like they there. make bootlegs of everything. Like have you ever heard of uh, Alibaba? It's basically a knockoff version of um, Amazon and almost everything they sell. They've come to me trying to get me to sell their stuff on their site before, on my channel. They sell just bootlegs all of it and i'm like how do you how do you want me to sell uh or like you know talk a about product products you don't believe it bootlegs. bootlegs like i'm not selling fake stuff or like talking about i'm not gonna be selling stuff i wouldn't be talking about fake stuff to my audience you know because basically it would be like you know hey i got like a new pokemon figure or something like that on mm -hmm. it right but it's fake you know and so we'll have a video on fake pokemon paraphernalia oh after yeah a bit. not just the little ones I, like yeah, we have other, other stuff. ones so <laughs> anyway um who are you tauros was there anything else you wanted to say about? um no it's just i always you know thought what rarity is printing, right? rarity it's un uncommon it's an uncommon yeah. one okay cool because i've never seen a tauros one well i mean other than yours um, moving on from there, ooh, one that I know was sold together because I'm pretty sure I had them both was the Magikarp and Gyarados. I really liked their stands because it's not that flat. They had like typical water. ones. They actually got, like, sculpted water into it. Into you you it. might want to like show that. Yeah. There you go. You yeah. See the little ripples going on to it. Though there. these are real common. People probably have these, but. Oh my gosh, there was this guy I would always play cards with at one of the Pokemon tournaments I would go to. We usually just did free play, not really tournaments or anything like that. Um, he always had three Gyarados Tomies with him. That Why? was like his thing. His blue they eyes. They were his needed... lucky, <laughs> okay. his lucky Gyarados. And one time I brought mine in, and I was like, I have it too. It's not that great. <laughs> <laughs> I, I played him almost every time I was there. Whatever. So you did that intentionally just to upset someone. 
He picked on me! All right, cool. That's, that's... And then I kicked his butt with Erica's Dratini. Justified. Um, so Magikarp's whiskers are actually sculpted into him, kind of unfortunately. Yeah, he's... unfortunately. The, the fins, though, are very nice. Mm -hmm. They're, um, I, I can't really get that. Ooh, the back one's even got, like, a wave to it. You see that? Yep. That's really cool. That's really cool. Now, these guys are real common, right? Yes, yes. Super common. And, I mean, there is also a manufactured shiny Gyarados. <laughs> yes. Like, have you seen Red's shiny Gyarados? That's legitimate. That's real. Um, that, however, had to have come out during the Johto stuff because, obviously, there were no shinies in Kanto. So, don't think that it's older than the others if you're trying to do something like that. Now, you have a second Gyarados. I do have a second Gyarados. Is he from the Saint? No, he is not. As you can tell, his writing is completely different his than the other one. His coloring even looks different. He's um, a little lighter. So, with not this face, writing, though. this is the... Careful on Zapdos there. He's weak to thunder times four. <laughs> I'm gonna kill that guy. Aldi. 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 Uh. Watch, we've been saying that wrong, too. Uh, yes. Something like that. So he is an Aldi one. So their printing is a little bit different. I like how they had to they like print it. Force they it on like the side. force it around the Gyarados. It looks really. They could have wrote it on the bottom. Like you know, they just could have wrote it. On the <laughs> you know what's they... funny is I was looking through these the other day to just double checking all the authenticity and everything of it, and I I first saw the writing on this. I'm like, this is not real. And then I read who the manufacturer was, and they are just known to do some really weird things with their printing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, it's not printing. Th those are uh, actual, stamps. those are sculpts, and then they had, um, like, basically uh, models that would... Uh, right. In they what, would pour in the, the plastics. the internet and would... would commonly refer to it as is a stamp, is what I hear a lot, is a stamp on it. Um, it's not, it's part of the, whatever, sure. I mean, I get it, because they, they were... You're using a stamp. Whatever, thing. yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, so other than that, I mean, the, one was the Japanese one, one was the Aldi. So that might be why some people are kind of hesitant to have the Aldi ones, is because they do really wonky things. Mm -hmm. They're not and this, all the this same. And this happens with almost every Tomy, too. Right. Like, where you get random different versions. Um, if, you haven't, if you've been watching the others, you're probably like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I got that part. <laughs> Um, so moving on from them is when we were actually just talking about that, uh, you had a fake for the longest time, Lapras. Oh my gosh, I had a fake. Okay, so. We don't have it right can now. Can I tell the story about the fake? Okay. <laughs> okay, so when I was a kid at one of our local malls, they had this huge, like, convention at a mall for Pokemon. Yeah. And I saw this box and it had this master ball in it and it's yellow and red and had a lapras and i was so excited i love lapras it's so cool so i begged my dad for to buy it for me at this convention and just a few years ago i realized it was fake it's, it's an obvious fake it's i don't know it's not even was made well like the master so ball bad. is yellow on the top red on the bottom and has a red m and on it and it's a grabber ball too and lapis and isn't ball. even part of the grabber ball collection and, so and uh like the neck it, it looked like it was decapitated okay, sewn back on decapitated sewn back on do you see on, this yellow and then stapled back on well it has this yellow here underneath its chin and on its top neck yeah that one doesn't have any of that and there's no writing on it at all so this is a real lapras and ev like the real tomy laprises did look kind of decapitated and also yours is uh ear i guess has a real bad seam on it yeah they but... have some pretty strong seams now this is don't look at it head on because who knows where its eyeballs are right both eyes at. are looking backwards so who knows what it's actually looking at here but um, All the writing's on the underneath. This right. one is uh, actually one of the... Aldi. Aldi's again. So, for all you people who are snobs about it... Um, <laughs> Why? Some people are... Some people are really snobby and they say these are fakes. Well, they're misinformed. That's, <laughs> that's all it is. They're, they're, I mean... That, that's... You can't tell me the paint job like this is a fake. Like, come on. They actually took right. time. Right, well, yeah. Well, it was also the same company working on this stuff, so whatever. Um, so, Lapras. Anything else about Lapras? We actually recently just got Lapras in a lot, too. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Um, the next one. One of the most valuable Tomies. Ditto. <laughs> Ditto's just really yeah, hard to find. I wish I had some putty. I would have just sat it here. Here's my Ditto. <laughs> um, or a Pokemon who has, Why like, a smiley face. Why is the most, um... The most, um... Where are you going basic with this? looking model 
Like, think, there's nothing to a ditto. Well, like, they, I'm sure <laughs> the rare. the rarity, they chose, like, let's make a lot of Pikachu. Let's make a lot that, of Meowth. But I look at it, and I'm like, it's a blob. I'm going to pay $50 well, the, for a blob. Well, that's the thing. They were like, no, no kid's going to want to play with this. So they didn't want to make that many. Right. That's all it was. Um, and Ditto was mostly there because they were like, hey, this is a cool mechanic for the game. You know, it wasn't like, hey, this is an interesting Pokemon. By himself, he's very simple. So that's why they weren't, like, making lots of Tomies of Ditto. Um, though, next one, I actually just adjusted it. I probably should have let it sit there, was Eevee <laughs> and its lineup. Now, really funny. In, oh, my God, please stop. Um, in my original collection, I didn't have an Eevee. I didn't have a Jolteon. I didn't have a Vaporeon. But I had the one that she doesn't have. I had a... Flareon. Actually, I, haven't, I don't think I've had this Eevee for very long. The, the uh, I always thought that Eevee was fake. I thought it was fake, too. Guess because, what uh, it is! Yeah. It, um, grabber Ball. There we go. Crap It's from a Hasbro, Hasbro Grabber Ball. So we have that written there on its tail. <laughs> yeah. Now, see, if I was the ignorant Tomy collector, I would be saying that those shiny Grabber Ball ones are the ones that don't go in my collection. Yeah, they look they look a little out of place they, next to everything. They have that shimmery, plasticky look. That if I saw a cheap Eevee... Versus this matte. Right. Like, if I saw a cheap Eevee that was original Tomy, I would get it. Like, I would want to replace that. I would... Uh, yeah, I guess. It would be nice to replace my... Well, how much would you be willing to spend on that? Like two bucks. Exactly. So, so you're not. You're not willing to do it. <laughs> as far I as have we're... it. As far as I'm All concerned. Right. As far as we're concerned, Eevee is checked off the list. <laughs> um, but I yeah, love real shiny. They, they still airbrushed it, though. Um, Do you have the writing on Eevee we can see? Uh, yeah, Just it was so back there on the tail. Stuff. I tried to oh, show Oh, yeah, it. that's real hard to see, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Shoot. All right. Uh, Jolteon's one of my favorite ones. It, you know, the hey. standing on four legs. Vaporeon thing. comes first. Sorry. Second is Jolteon. And third is Flareon. Flareon. I know. I know my the Eevee Flareon order. Flareon was such a cool Tomy. For any of you guys who have it, it's so cool. I love that one. I love the the Vaporeon. I mean, it doesn't stand up. Vaporeon's but, your I mean, favorite Pokemon. This is... <laughs> This is the pose it's in on the card, you know, kind of. <laughs> it's, it's the Ken Sugimori drawing that he right. originally did. Yeah. And then, you know, you've got all this writing here on the back. I thought they colored the blue in, too, on the back. I love that it has, like, one mega foot. Uh, right, Are you yeah. This mega I foot see that. Here? It has one giant flipper foot. And, you know, there are some people, for some reason, who think that the. Um, that should be white? Crest on Eevee should. This should be white, and that it That's goes around the. Or, sorry, around. <laughs> Vaporeon actually goes around the neck down here. A lot of people draw it there. Oh, yeah, in fan not, art? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that, to be fair, um, Clefairy, like, we're, we have Tomies that weird mold things happen that aren't really supposed to be happening. Right? right, but this is what it looks like in the game, you know? It has the thing back up. Does it really? Yeah, it pushes up against the back of its fin ear. I never really paid too much attention to the back of um, Flareon's neck. I'm sorry. <laughs> Vaporeon's. Um, Jolteon, I love Jolteon. You, guess why? It stands on four legs. It stands on four legs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, apparently that is so cool. Actually, that is really hard to do. <laughs> you know, <laughs> That's what I say. Because it's really hard to do correctly because I guess you, you, you screw it up just a little bit and it's standing on three legs. There's his butt. Yep, there's his butt and there's all your writing. Original, uh, tell me though. Pooped it out. Um, <laughs> a lot of, um, airbrushing done on Jolteon. Oh yeah, Jolteon looks really nice. So she's missing out on that awesome Flareon. I also had the next one. I had a Porygon. Now, you're saying Porygon's, Porygon's really hard to find? Rare. Yeah, he's hard to find. That's a bummer. Well, just like Onyx, then. Mm -hmm. That's a bummer, because I had... Uh, they, I really liked those, because like my neighbors didn't have them. Um, next is Ammonite. Now, I've seen an Ammonite in a lot once, but other than that, we've never had our he's hands on one. Rare. Then, other than that, we have... The battle for the episode. We're going to need your guys' help on this one. <laughs> Controversy. Actually, I don't know. Like, I am so on the fence about it. <laughs> Here we go. Amistar. Uh, if you guys saw the episode where we had Kadabra, we have the same battle. I say it's real. Kim says no dice. And um, we're just going I to... I have looked at multiple Japanese Amistar stamps they do not look like okay this. well um i'm gonna say the same kind of things i said about cadaver when i'm gonna go a little quicker about this one though for the sake of time um i mean this is obviously this is the, still the same mold exact same pose that you would see on a star in so at least for the very least uh, or at the very least this is what uh tomi amistar is supposed to look like um now his writing is really weird on this one so 
The font in Made in China looks a little different. Um, but granted, we've seen weird fonts and stuff across Tomy's before, so this could just be a different version we've seen. Um, he has the original uh, Japanese Nintendo and uh, the letters and Tomy written down there at the bottom. Um, and he's also airbrushed all over. Um, and he feels, you know, if I'm moving this, it feels like, you know, the same kind of rubbery plastic material that the others are all made of. So in terms of everything checks out other than that made in China, I, like I've never seen that well, particular one before. The seam down here that's just really sloppy. Look too, at Lapras. I mean, look at Lapras yeah, but that's right a there. Clean, like, oh, that there ain't nothing clean about this. This looks disgusting. Like, this looks like a fake. Look at that ear and... The, no, no, no. Invalidated. Okay, and how about <laughs> but this? But now, the weirdest thing. The weirdest thing, yes. <laughs> um, his spikes. Uh, these look shaved off, and it's not like a kid playing against the concrete, like, smearing him down. This front one, Kim pointed out, is painted. So it was... Um, they're missing before it was painted. So um, as far as you were concerned, you were saying other ones you've seen online have the spikes? Yes. They do have the spikes, which I thought at first looking at the white ones, I was like, maybe some parent wanted to cut them off so that way their kid right. didn't get hurt by it. But, but then I what, see this oh, first you, one, maybe, and what it's if, painted. The exact well, actually, color is that. That's because um, the white, it wouldn't be white on the inside. That's the mold. That mold was that plastic brown color. So actually, maybe they were cut off. Because see, the, the back part, the whole thing, is this that's I know, the base that's a separate of this mold. Is, no this is the base of the plastic yeah. it's this color so you would cut it and see this but then why are those white so that's what's weird so we I have so many of these arguments i have seen so technically no we only have two <laughs> it's um, cadabra technically by this logic then this should be an authentic japanese one but i have yes. seen a japanese one and it's writing for made in china does not look like this but we've had different authentic japanese Correct, before. but they did not have all of the letters on them. They would just have CG written on them if that were the case. I don't know. If you guys have an Amistar, let us know because we really want to know about this guy. Kim wants to know if she should put him in the original set. Should we look for a new Amistar? Is this a fake? Or what's going up with this guy? I mean, does anybody else have ones where the, the, the horns are, <laughs> yeah, it's are so cut weird. off? Like, because I like, the, it, the paint like, yeah. is what's throwing me off there. Maybe for safety hazard reasons... Um, the original ones they made were, the were spiked, and, and then they cut them, because one. that doesn't, like, I can't see them selling a hard plastic toy with spikes. Like, that's different. Th those are different. That That is a ball, something that you can throw. <laughs> that I can throw at my brother or Well, then they'd be much sharper. Those are, com those are cones coming to a point. Those are just harsh edges. That's, that's... Am I making sense? Anyway, uh, moving on from those, we also are missing Kabuto Kabutops, which is unfortunate. Because... Oh, and as you can imagine, um, with the fossil Tomies, mm -hmm. they came with the fossils. Like, you got a I little know. fossil with it. Um, it so you so got cool. a helix fossil if you bought the Amistar Ammonite, and uh, you got a dome fossil if you bought the Kabuto Kabutops. Did you get an old amber if you got our next I guy? Don't think so actually our next guy yeah i don't think there was an old amber as far as i'm concerned so, I, I haven't seen one. you know aerodactyl his jaw looks so wonky in 3d this like. was another cool one we found at a um yeah we found this one at flea market, flea market. again i was so um, excited a super ball dude yes 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 super ball. dang it i'm <laughs> grabber ball grabber ball what does it do it it grabs them it's and super them. it's it's the it's a super catastrophe Ooh, look, you can see my gross dry hands on here um yeah l let's all let's all pay attention to that <laughs> um so i thought he was i was really excited to find him oh i i, I think i was before. more excited than you were because i was like because I really like Aerodactyl. I was like, that's so rare. I've never seen an Aerodactyl I Tomy. I think when we found these at the flea market, I, he was I was starting to get too. back into um, collecting them mm -hmm. again, I think. Yeah, and I wish we could keep going back there, but, I mean, the recent times we've been there, like, we've never Nothing. seen any new ones. It's just unfortunate. Maybe, maybe you know, got to go to different places. I don't know, but either way. Aerodactyl Tommy, he's... You know how rare generally? I mean, I've never seen another one. He might not be as rare because he is an, an English Hasbro grabber ball one. It's like the Zubat. I think you're going to find I've never seen a that Zubat. more than the actual original. No, I'm not saying he's like, he's not a Voltorb. Obviously, I'm not saying he's that. He's not a Voltorb. But um, he's 
still, he's very young. He's I feel not. Like I need a Venn diagram. Still of pretty rare. Yeah, like uh, a rarity. That's uh, yeah. You probably should. I'm surprised you didn't make that yet. Um, I'm surprised you don't have this one because I swear I had this Snorlax. I thought I had it because I know what it looks like. They made Snorlax everything because he was so easy flat. like the plushies the the easy burger king toys like snorlax was everywhere like i feel like i have maybe i have a fake one and that's what it is maybe that happens that's, like that's i possible. know what they look like and i felt like i had one yeah. and then learned it was fake and it got put in a bag some of the most common tomies that they made i had them i loved them the legendary bird trio for some reason kim only has zapdos <laughs> It's like, that's like missing Pikachu, which you are. <laughs> well, you, you got all the weird Pikachu. Probably not even all the weird Actually, Pikachus. Actually, the thing about the birds is, is, is they were... Is there a flying Pikachu? No. I don't no. know. We, we were not going to go out of our way to try and find him anyway. Um, Zapdos is one of those first released ones mm -hmm. again, like those Charizard, that Blastoise that I've shown, and things like right, that. Right, first release, Japanese. Where, and you know, that's the Moltres Where they say usually, CG, right? Yes, they'll just say CG on them, and actually it's backslash C, backslash G. Whatever. Um, and the China is usually in a, um... Try and angle it up, there you go. Sand Serif. It's also embossed, too, and everything else is uh, in yes. white. A lot of these first release ones look like this, and the most common one I see, actually, that is part of this, is the Moltres of these um, early release ones like The Moltres that. has a really hard time of standing, but fortunately Zapdos, they gave him this nice clear base with the feet. Moltres, mine, I always tried bending him back into place, and he was brand new, and he would never stand oh, up. Oh, yeah, I know what he looks um, like. Articuno? Articuno's just he as could. bad. No, he's not Yay. as bad. Because the tail curl around and gave him something to lean back on. The Articuno, what I, he was one of my favorite Tomy. I know I've said that, like, in every video. But, um... What They're was so awesome about opinion. Articuno was they used a metallic blue, and it shimmers. It's so cool looking, but she doesn't have one, because you stink. Um, yeah, you stink. We should probably get those. Like, they're so cheap. Those are so easy to find. We figured we were going to get them in a lot accidentally later, but anyway. I am sorry. We're almost done. Um, the next, these guys were sold together. Dratini and Dragonair. Guess what I don't have? The floor is yours. Um, she's missing, uh... I have a fake one without a tail. And Dragonite. Yeah. That's really bad. Like, that was... Fake one, no tail. Well, at first you were like, at least, I, at least I have a Dragonite. And he were like, well, his tail's missing, but at least I have a Dragonite. And they were like, no, he's not even a real Dragonite. It's so bad. Um, Probably why the tail I love these. Off. I love their shape and everything. And they were some of my favorites to play with. Because, like, their tail came around for, yeah, tails. for smacking. Um, there's a written here on the back. And They're also different the colors, too, line. like yeah. uh, the Just Poliwhirl like Poliwag. Poly poly they are the same color, you mm -hmm. know? Um, I love Dratini. He's cute. And he doesn't have a monkey face, so he's okay in my book. The plush video, if you know what she's talking about. Um, you, you saw there where those two came from? Yeah, now, I know so. those were sold together, so these original Japanese, right? Um, mm -hmm. The Dragonite, I know, was sold by himself. He was in his own little ball and the cardboard that looked just like the double packs but mm. um i don't know if that was the only way to get the english one or if there was some other way they came out with it but i don't know um i never had one and apparently neither did clearly Kim. did i did not have one <laughs> didn't, didn't i have didn't i have didn't it's did, fun did, to think back on that and think i spent 25 cents to get that thing right <laughs> um so anyway we have one more now, it's funny, because I had a Mew. This huh. was an argument, too, actually, for she, a while. For the long, well, I actually, I never argued it. Uh, you just had this in your, you were like, this is fake. This ain't real. Well, and then you saw it, and you were like, look at this scene. But I said, hold on. We always said, I said, hold on. I had the old Mewtwo. Double check this one. And she did. And why is this real? Um, it is one of those first release ones again. <laughs> so he was just super old. So we have one of those, uh embossed china logos again and then the tomi logo under it with and just the, cg it's just cg on it so he's one of those first release ones when alex brought this one to my attention that's when i started noticing my other ones like my zapdos and my charizard, charizard. she saw charizard and zapdos were fake, right so. like i didn't even look at them and i was just like all of a sudden i had to backtrack and i noticed i had quite a few of these little guys <laughs> like um they're just part of those first uh make and creation um he is not a very well made 
figure that I It was I probably have. one of the first they sculpted, so... Right, not... I mean, like, he doesn't... Like, his... It's a really detailed thing. Pokemon, too. And they were trying to, like, use the tail to help him, help him stand up. And... and, like, he has this part on here where it needs to be shaved off from the seam. Like, yeah. the seam wasn't shaved off all the way. The biggest thing, the glaring thing that's so weird about Tommy Mewtwo... Drove everybody kid in, every single kid insane. I'm surprised you didn't do it to it. He's all white. I think it's because I probably thought he was fake. Well, I have a fake Mew, and he has, like, oh, a pink on Oh, your Mew is fake. His head falls <laughs> off a lot. Like, you look at it, and you're like, oh, my God, she thought that was real. <laughs> it looks is, like the original one, but it's, it's like... It's the same model, but it's so not real. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's this... Now, the Chansey didn't bother me too much, because Chansey's card is white. But that Mewtwo drove me nuts because it's not supposed to look like that. Um, but they airbrush. Now I'm surprised with this one because he has like almost no airbrush. The ones they airbrush I see a online, little bit of pink some... on the front, the, his front belly, and on his tail. Right, and some of them I see online usually have a little bit more airbrushing than mine. I don't know if mine just got worn off over the years or what. But... He looks like he's in bad shape. Right, he just does. He's not. He's not doing so well. Um, I never really played with Seen him much, days. which is probably why I wasn't concerned with his painting him the correct yeah. colors i never really played with him too I guess much so. you played with your chancy <laughs> i played with my surfing pikachu and my vulpix all the darn time i see yeah. <laughs> okay. um so anyway, that's mewtwo that is uh he's like the crappiest looking tomy i have but he is real right and uh you have no mew the official one no i was saying before i had a mew the the model was right but mew's mew's pretty common too right yeah. Like, that's yeah. real easy to get. So that's not going to be one that we're going to go out of our way and try and find. We might get one accidentally in a lot. I don't know. Right. But... And, you know, when it comes to the Mew, and for the most part, when it comes to collecting these Kanto and Johto Tomies, I'm looking at getting the first release, like, the releases from the 90s. Not like, well, in the 2000s. Not like the ones that you can... Like, clearly, I could get a release of a Mew today if I wanted to. I could go on Pokemon oh, Center and yeah, I could buy it. Right. That's not like, what you I'm can talking get, Yeah, about. you can get, like, like the Charmander we showed in the first episode right, of Tommy's. Right, you can buy them. Like, you can get that, but it's not the same. Right, <laughs> when I come to collect... I'm looking for these odd... All the... All the I'm looking for these Hasbro, all these Hasbros and, and Takara Tomies. Taraka Tomie. Taraka Tomie. Um... But that wraps up Kanto. And, um, unfor I mean, like, we can move on to, like, doing the other ones in Johto and stuff, but if it's we're gonna... It's gonna be a weird it wouldn't be as It wouldn't be as many, because I think I added it up. We only have, like, maybe 12 total. And that goes up to, like, uh, 5th gen, too. Right, so it's just gonna be that little lot, and maybe the humans that I have, because... Maybe. Like, I'm not sure people. what we're actually going to do next. Probably gonna still try and make a full Tomy video somehow, but... Right. Either way. Um, but that, for now is all the time we have unless you have any final thoughts for Kanto because everything up to this point these are the collections one we're really trying to find um, maybe if you guys can help us try and find some of the missing ones it'd be awesome um, but or hopefully I really hope this video helped some of you guys identify you know some are fake some are real like I like, have that too <laughs> it's also cool just like talking about you know the rarities of these things because nobody really I don't know any other videos are on youtube where people uh, are talking there about are these. a few but i should have watched them but i didn't because i want to talk about my tomies not talking about your tomies. okay well then by, <laughs> by the same logic why would you watch this <laughs> why are you here <laughs> let if me I, let me answer okay, it right now by like, telling them to go away then <laughs> photo documentation now if my insurance company if this whole house blows up i have documentation proof that i they're not that this. valuable they're not that valuable don't worry about it <laughs> Well, unless you want to... You can't replace it with money. Yeah, tell that, tell that to me, who had to get over losing hundreds of... Get over it! Apparently. <laughs> there was no insurance coming to my door. That is all the time we have for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more, and we will see you all in the next Pokemon Collections video. Bye-bye. <laughs>